further along the coast, Molly Spooner, here at Nova's invitation, comparing the ecological consequences of the spill with the Torrey Canyon. Uh, over there, there are quite a lot of dead limpet and winkle shells, uh, which are almost certainly the remains of the uh, intensive kill of herbivores that took place on this shore, uh, so I've been told. Uh, quite obviously, the herbivores are lacking here to a certain extent because we have far more green weed uh, than one would expect on a shore like this. But over here, uh, it is clear that there are quite a lot of limpets still present. Some of them are grazing where you see see there's a faint green over the oil and in other places where they're grazing right through the oil you can see the sort of curly tracks um, where the uh, oil has been removed right down to the rock. Uh, look, here you've got um, the teeth marks in the green, which is what the limpet intended to eat. And let's look and see, oh, there's some more teeth marks. Oh, here we are, we've got an enormous limpet. That really is quite a big chap who survived from the oil and has been cleaning up all around. When oil is not too heavy, the limpets can do a very useful job of natural cleanup. So, 40 miles from the wreck, in Molly Spooner's opinion at least, the rock community has a fair chance of recovering in a few years if left to itself.